All right, Sagittarius. Let's see what messages we got for you guys. Oh, you guys got the crib bus now. All right, Saggy, this is going to be a read for October, mid-October, for the remainder of October. I uh, don't think that this will be your guys' last reading that I put out, but this could um, take place any time now until the end of October. That is when this message is intended to reach you guys. So let's see. Messages, please, for Sagittarius for October mid-half. All right, let's see. You guys got the fair man dealing a relationship with a man of blonde, gray, or white hair. You guys have the grapes. Time to get out and have fun. Birth, conception of a child, or any enterprise. <laughs> huh. So one thing I'm seeing here. Some of you guys, if you guys have a pregnant wife or you're expecting, okay, some of you guys may be feeling like you guys want to go out and do something fun. Uh, that's a message for someone, not for everyone. All right, we have the peacock. Beware of great pride. Interesting. So maybe that message does apply. Not saying that that is not the right thing to do at all. But um, let's just see. What else do we got for Saggy? Such serious. What do we got for you? Saggy. October. Oh, oh. It's got an ex extra card. You got the cat, two faced friend. In the Arcway, new opportunity, not a little bit. <laughs> new opportunities, possibilities, and paths are opening up for you. And then you got the parrot on the bottom of the deck. Uh, someone will gossip all of your secrets. This could be this two-faced friend of yours, okay? Um, he's got an extra card, so hopefully I can have all these cards out here and you guys can see them. All right, so it does look like there's something new that's opening up for you with this birth or conception of a child or enterprise. This doesn't have to be a child. This could just be starting something new, a new business, starting a new relationship, starting a new job, a new endeavor, uh, working on some type of a hobby. I don't know what this is, but new possibilities and paths are opening up for you. But um, with this peacock here, I don't know if this is something that you take a lot of pride in. Okay, and someone's like, ugh. I can't believe Saggy's doing this. I'm going to say, I'm going to gossip all their secrets and try to hinder them, okay? You may be going out. You may be having fun, okay? You could be this fair man. You could be dealing with one, dealings or relationship with a man of blonde, gray, or white hair. But let's find out what's going on here for my Sagittarius's for the second half of October. All right. Sorry if that's loud, y'all. Show me this birth or conception of a child or an enterprise. Magician, beautiful, Virgo, Gemini energy. So something here that you've been manifesting, the chariot, the knight of swords, and the hermit. Yeah, some of you guys are like following, you guys are like chasing something. How do I say this? Like chasing your higher self, like something here that you've been manifesting or something that you've been working on, something, this could be a creative endeavor, some type of a skill, a talent that you may have. This is you chasing this, okay? The hermit is your higher self, okay? Um, and this is like what, what it is that you're going after, putting thought into action. I feel like you put a lot of thought into something here with this chariot coming out also. Determination and willpower, Virgo, Cancer, Gemini, you may have those placements in your chart. So, Sag, some of you guys are just, you know, on your A-game at this time. Magician, first card out. Go ahead. Go ahead with your bad self. Okay. Saggy. Page of Wands. Yeah, this is some type of talent or skill that you've been, you feel called to. It's like you feel inspired to do something. This excites you. This is something new. Um, some of you guys could be receiving some type of good news surrounding, uh, something that you've been working on or manifesting. Um, so this is also the gift of gab. So there could be a conversation coming in or going out here. The moon card intuition. Um, what is the moon? The queen of cups, Pisces, strong Pisces cancer energy here. Some of you guys have been manifesting a person. Okay. You know, the moon can be the womb and not to, I know not everybody's trying to have babies, 
Okay, I understand that, but I can't help who I pick up on, and I'm not going to sugarcoat messages for those who, you know, are looking for a certain message. But anyways, the moon can talk about the womb. All right, with this Queen of Cups here, there definitely could be a pregnancy, or maybe somebody was, you know, this could be exciting news. The Page of Wands is exciting news, so maybe someone's like, hell yeah, Queen of Cups, this could be you, Sag. You could be in this motherly, nurturing energy, and you're like, hell yeah. Um... Some of you guys may not even know you're pregnant yet, <laughs> but I feel like this is going to be something you've been with the magician. This is something you've been working on. This is something that you want. This is something that I feel like the page of wands is good news. The magician does the work. Okay. So this is something that I feel like you've been working on that you're going to be excited about. Okay. With the moon being here, you may not know this yet, but you might be ready to, you know, don't pay attention to the gender man or woman here. Now show me this fair man. What's up with this guy? What is up with him? Hmm, nine of Pentacles. Could be a Virgo, doesn't have to be here. This is someone who's very independent, stable, self-sufficient, self-made. Okay, so this could be you. This could be someone else. Um, let's see. This could also be some type of a thriving business owner, someone starting something up. The Five of Wands. Whoa. Okay, Knight of Swords reversed. And Judgment. All right, so I think I called this reading pretty much in the beginning. Me, you know, not without, not with details, but uh, I think I was kind of picking up on what is coming out. So picking up on what what is being put down. All right, so with the five of wands here, I don't know if this fair man, you could be this man, this could be the other person in the situation, but this talks about conflict or feeling conflicted or. Maybe in a disagreement, um, some type of opposition here. I don't know if this man wants to be single. You want to be single. Someone here is like, uh, I'm conflicted about what this means for my independence. Like, I don't know. Wrap it up if that's your concern. But uh, I'm just saying. Because the Knight of Swords in the reverse can talk about anger, hostilities. Can be aggression, so don't go do nothing stupid. You can't take back bum buns. Oh my gosh. All right, guys, sorry about that. I swear my rabbit knows when I'm reading and she likes to just like find shit she can tear up. Okay, so the Knight of Swords talks about, you know, can talk about missed opportunities, um, something that's out of someone's control. This could be someone out of control, quite frankly, with this Five of Wands, Knight of Swords reverse. Um, judgment is, you know, it's a major life decision. It's apportioning blame, taking accountability, forgiveness, reconciling, um, uh, doing some type of self-evaluating. Like I said, if, you know, that was your concern, maybe you shouldn't have, uh, I, I don't even know if this is you. This could be the other person. All right. So don't get, don't shoot the messenger here. Um, we have Scorpio. Energy. But anyways, this is something, you know, that's out of someone's control here. There's an argument or some type of conflict that's out of somebody's, like, it's not in someone's hands. And it's pissing someone off, I feel like. It's it's causing some type of, I hope not aggression, but this could be someone, like, losing their temper. Someone being argumentative. Someone feeling, I almost feel like someone feels backed into a corner or feeling like... Um, but with judgment being here, this is like take someone here needs to take accountability, you know, whatever. Being mad, starting an argument or conflict. This could even be um, saying some type of mean or malicious things. Okay. I feel like you got a man and a woman here who... One person may want this and the other person does not. Or they disagree in some way. All right, show me the grapes. Time to go out and have fun. Six of Cups, the Moon, Nine of Wands, the Fool, All right, Six of Cups. So Six of Cups talks about, it can talk about children, childhood, memories, past influences, things like that. 
Um, that innocent, playful, childlike energy getting back to one's roots as well with the moon. I don't know if there's fear surrounding children. Okay, the moon could talk about fear, dreams, illusion, deception, insecurities, something deep within someone's subconscious. Okay, uh, strong water energy here. You also have Aries out here. Tend to go out and have fun. The full card can talk about freedom, innocence, um, playfulness, new beginnings, travel. Can't even talk about foolishness, carelessness, and lack of commitment. Okay, someone who's very spontaneous. Uh, so someone here may... And Nine of Wands is like feeling like the wounded warrior, feeling battle fatigue, drained of someone's energy, drained of your energy. This also, excuse me, talks about persistence, okay? Having having that persistence to learn from past failure, gather your strength, and keep going, okay? Don't give up. So what are we talking about here? I feel like someone here may fear... Yeah, someone here may feel like they're going to lose their freedom. Or someone may be thinking back to their childhood or shit. For some of you guys, this could even be somebody who... I don't know. Someone younger could be pregnant or conceiving. Yeah, someone here may not be ready, but I don't think anybody's... I mean, I guess there's some people in the world that probably are, but... Most of the time, I don't feel like first-time parents are ever really ready, like 100% ready, but you get ready, right? You know, this could be a lesson for someone, too, with this nine of, nine of Wands, like learning from past... Sorry, y'all. It's like dog doing some crazy shit outside. Um, I don't know. I feel like this is someone that likes to go out and have fun. This is someone who's spontaneous. They like to do things on a whim. This could even be someone who's done this before in the past. You know? And they need to learn from being foolish or reckless. Learn from past failures. Like, I don't know. Have you done this before? What'd you learn from that? Obviously nothing because it's happening again if that's the case. I almost feel like someone fears like their freedom is going to be taken away. Maybe someone, you know, this man doesn't look young, but maybe someone here is young. Or this woman could be young, but I don't feel like she's, she could be fearful, I guess, with the moon over here next to her energy. But the Queen of Cups is someone who's very loving, very nurturing. It's almost like she manifested this. Or she's creating this in her womb, the magician in the, the moon. It's like something here is being created in her womb. And it very well could be a child. It could be a fire sign child, Aries, Leo, or Sag. And there's a man over here that may feel conflicted. Uh, because he may like his singlehood. And this could be, you know, he may be upset about this. Uh could be some arguments or fights over this but with judgment it's like take accountability for whatever this situation is if you didn't want children you shouldn't have uh do did did it did, you know whatever okay show me the peacock beware of great pride i don't know who's who here up in this reading either sad you could be this woman here with this page of wands you could be a younger woman or you just you're the one that you know all right show me beware of great pride ten of cups tell me more Beware of great pride. Y'all be sure to hit that like button if this reading is resonating or giving you some type of clarity. Let me know. 
Yeah, and the, uh, this is your energy too, Sag. So maybe some of you guys, if some of you guys could fear your freedom. Like, I don't know. Or I hope nobody feels robbed of their innocence. That would just be fucked up. But um, I hope no one went out and had fun and... was foolish or careless and now they feel like the wounded warrior like I'm almost okay I know I'm gonna like get up under hit some triggers possibly but maybe this is something from stemming from someone's childhood like somebody may um have some type of deep seated, I don't even want to say issues, but like maybe even insecurities stemming from their childhood or their past. And so it could be causing some type of like, I don't know, lacking commitment or someone's fearing that they can't, they don't have what it takes, but I feel like you do. I'm going to leave that alone. Okay, show me beware of great pride. Or maybe you feel like everything's on you now. Ten of Cups and the Hair Font and the Four of Swords. The Four of Swords, yeah, okay, so the Nine of Cups, Ten of Cups, I feel like someone, I don't know what this has to do with pride, but like, someone here may be feeling mentally exhausted, overloaded. Now, if you are someone who's pregnant, you could definitely need to like, rest more, put your feet up, okay, stay away from stressors. <clears throat> you could be feeling exhausted or overloaded. This can even be to someone who has put a lot of thought into a situation like I wanted. Like, you know, like when you're young and you're like, you have this, I don't know. I don't know if you guys do, but I know I did. But, you know, sometimes things don't turn out the way um, that you think that they will. So someone here may have thought like, oh. When I have a family, I'm going to be married. I'm going to be in a commitment. I'm going to be happy. I'm going to have everything that I want. Um, I'm going to be at peace. I'm going to be resting easy. It's like somebody here may have like had so much faith in a certain dynamic that they seen for their self that this is causing them stress because that's not how this is being. This is not how this is being manifested or created okay i know i used to always say oh i want to have a house and a, and a car and this and that and when i have a kid and i had none of that when i had my daughter but you know obviously that wasn't part of my journey or my path you know i was supposed to experience things in a different way but it, you know so someone here may need to like let go of that pride like Okay, let's move on. Show me the cat. Two-faced friend. What is up with this sucker fish? What's up with this two-faced friend around Saggy? Yep, there it goes. Damn. Shit, really? Okay. For some of you guys, this could be your family. All right, with this four of wands here, I hope not, or someone in your home or someone you live with. But the tower, the five of wands and seven of swords, yeah. <laughs> with this seven of swords, someone could be lying on you. This could even be some, I don't know, because you have someone who will gossip all of your secrets here. So this, I don't know. Let me think here. Uh, the tower. The tower is unexpected chaos. It's upheaval. The five of wands is conflict, drama, disagreements, fighting, arguments, competition. 
inner conflict, whatever. Seven of Swords can talk about dece deceit, lies, trickery, doing something underhanded. And then the Four of Wands talks about a happy family, happy reunion. So I don't know if someone is over here like trying to stir up drama around your, let's say if you are happy or you are, let's say you guys decide to get married and then someone's like, putting all this negativity into something, trying to blow your shit up, like trying to cause more drama. Like, um, you know that, like, I don't know. I don't know what this is exactly. But this energy is obviously some of you guys may, and this could be up to five people, you know, that are involved in this situation. But the tower, I don't know if I want to get into this, but You know, this could even be like somebody trying to gossip someone's secrets or trying to tell someone's business or, you know, with this secrets, gossip all of your secrets. To me, gossip is always just hearsay. Seven of Swords is lies, right? So it's not, if the Seven of Swords was in, let's clarify. Seven of Swords, please. You know, this can also be like people objecting say if you are going to get married or you're going to move in or you're going to start a family or you're starting a home or whatever this is. Okay. Obviously someone's starting a family here, but, um, there could be people opposing this or like spreading lies or rumors or gossip. There could be a lot of like this going around that's causing a lot of chaos in your life or upheaval. Like people objecting with something. It could be, to do with this fair man. He has a five of wands in his energy, knight of swords. It's like there's someone here who's angry, upset. Yo, for some of y'all, this person could even, I'm not, well, someone here could have lied about being married. Or about some type of family or home dynamic. Like this person could have portrayed themselves as single or this is someone who is very independent, self-sufficient, good on their own. And there's that's why they're feeling conflicted. They're angry. They're upset. But this is like someone needs to take accountability for their actions. I don't know how you're involved in this, but... Yeah, some, someone could even be lying to their own family or <sighs> about what they were investing into, about what they were doing, who they were spending time with. Show me new opportunity. What's actually, show me the tower. This could be some type of chaos within a home, a marriage or family and yeah, the devil the empress and two of pentacles someone here was someone here was juggling somebody with the wife capricorn taurus libra someone here was going back and forth between two possibly could have had a wife someone here was into some type of dark toxic shit yeah emperor on the bottom of the deck this this masculine is someone who is very independent self-sufficient like this in ten of swords yeah this man is the one that's doing some type of betrayal here caused some type of an ending and a betrayal six of coins because they were given to two why because of nine of cups they were selfish and now the truth is coming out sorry sir okay new opportunities new possibilities and paths are opening up five of cups reverse let go of any type of regrets move forward okay accept help from others forgive okay ten of cups is showing itself some of you guys need to accept help from family Oy. The devil. You know, sometimes we get ourselves mixed up in toxic shit and you don't find out until it might be too late, you know? But, you know, I don't know. Someone here could have addiction. Someone here may be needing to give that up as well. Because there's some type of a new path or new opportunity that's opening up here. Five of Pentacles. Yeah, someone may need to like let go 
of toxic people, let go of attachments, obsessions, possession, or trying to control a situation and move forward with love. Be empathetic to a situation. Someone here could also be feeling abandoned or someone here just needs to like let go. Let go of the emotional disappointment that something here is toxic and it five of pentacles it's what's this knight of cups mm. yeah i feel like someone here was very sweet very charming Someone could even be trying to apologize for lying. Five of Cups in the reverse can talk about forgiveness or healing, but why is the devil out here still? Someone here, someone here could be like a compulsive liar, an obsessive liar, or whatever that is. I don't know. The devil, Four of Cups. Someone here always feels like this is someone who I feel like their 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 toxicity is looking at other options like when they when they have love right in front of them they they fucking run off and sneak and cheat and lie abandon people this is someone here who has um i don't know sag i feel like you may have gotten mixed up here with someone who's not healed like they have deep-seated issues themselves five of pentacles it's like they they may feel that's that ab abandonment um what do you call it? Like lack their mindset. Um, it's like somebody who may abandon people because they were abandoned as a child or someone here who doesn't. I'm sorry if that's the case, but. Yeah, it's someone who fears losing their freedom and it has something to do with childhood. Some type of repetitive behavior. Someone just always feels bored and discontent. Like someone gets something, but it's never good enough. Okay, Saj. Um... You know, I'm going to get you guys a couple of cards. I don't even want to call it advice because I know, I don't know, this might be a specific story, but. Can you get three cards for Sag? Helpful people. That's exactly why I grabbed this deck because I feel like there may be a need to like accept support from others or. You know, there's helpful people here, people who can help whoever's going through this situation, because I feel like you're dealing with someone who. I don't know. I hate to even say this, but some like someone may abandon you for their own. Because they because of their own issues, not because of you or the, you know, if this is a kid, but. I feel like you're going to receive a message here of good news or help or assistance. But show me what the Seven of Swords is out here again for. Yeah, the Five of Swords. Oh, Lord and Jesus. What is this? Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Energy. Someone maliciously lying on somebody or trying to do something behind someone's back. What are they trying to do? Or well, someone here just sabotage is self-sabotaging because they keep lying. Ten of Wands. Oh, okay, where'd that card go? The Sun. Something here is going to be brought to the light or someone's going to gain clarity. Leo Energy. The tower in the reverse. Yeah, someone's resisting change. Someone here doesn't want to change. Point blank, period. Okay. 
This can also be you avoiding some type. That's what I was getting with this. I think I stopped saying what I was saying because I was I got curious about something else. But anyways, the first thing I was going to say is this message of good news could be like you are avoiding some type of disaster like this. This person leaving you may be a fucking blessing. OK. I'm just saying, yeah, this is your opportunity. Queen of Pentacles. I feel like you're going to be a good mother, good parent. Okay, you will have support assistance here. All right, a couple more, please. Massage. You got recovery in the reverse, and yes. So I don't know. Yes, you will recovery. Or yes, you yes, you will recover. Yes, you will recover. Look for a sign and ask ask for help from others. Yeah, I definitely feel like and it is up to you. It's up to you. Whatever this choice is, it's up to you. Spirit is saying yes, okay? But you may need to ask for help from others because I don't know if you're gonna get it from this person. This person may even try to like put someone on blast or hell, this could even be you. You putting this person on blast for who, what kind of a shady shit they are. This person doesn't want to change. They want to stay in this devil toxic energy. Keep looking at other options. There may be a need to you, for you just to like let go of the disappointment and abandon this situation and move forward with your life with care and compassion. Don't let this little trickster energy that doesn't want to change bring you down. This is, you have some type of new opportunity or path that's opening up for you. You just may not, whoever I'm talking to, you may not see it like that because you're dealing with the knucklehead. Okay. All right. Let me keep going before I get all. Can I get three cards, please? For Sagittarius dealing with the situation. Expect a powerful change. New moon eclipse. We just went through a new moon eclipse, y'all. So some of you guys... You know, I guess the energy could still be relevant. When was that Saturday? Today's Tuesday. Yeah, so we're still, I mean, we're coming out of it. But something here may have definitely shifted around this new moon. Maybe it was your perspective. Maybe this whole situation took a turn. I don't know. But expect a powerful change. Work through your fears. New moon in Scorpio. Okay, so we are coming up on Scorpio season. So uh, when is that? Libra, Scorpio. New moon would be a month from now. New moon in Scorpio will be a month from now. So some of you guys, you know, within this next month or coming up on this next month, you guys need to practice working through your fears if you want to expect a powerful change or there was a powerful change and now you got to work through your fears. Okay. Let's see. And we got balance, spirituality, and practicality, full moon in Pisces. Okay. So keep your life in balance. And a personal issue reaches a res resolution, full moon in Cancer. All right, Saggy, I love you guys so much. I hope that this reading helped. I hope it gave you clarity. Let me know if it did. Smash that thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.